When placing any adhesive restoration, it is advisable to achieve good isolation of the tooth to be restored. As Sentium Forte is a basic filling material and a great alternative to amalgam, a relative isolation of the mouth is adequate. You can use the Optrogate in this case, which will retract the cheeks and lips for better intraoral view, all the more keeping the patient comfortable and allows efficient treatment by the operator. The use of buckle pad, cotton rolls and a saliva ejector is recommended to reduce the saliva contamination. The cavity preparation design is defect orientated, therefore no undercuts, grooves or further healthy tooth tissue removal is necessary. All sharp edges and angles should be rounded off. Since the cavity preparation design is defect orientated with no macro retentive design, an adhesive primer is necessary for the micro retention of the restoration. In this case, we use a self etching, self adhering and self curing Sentium primer. Dispense one drop of Sentium Primer into the dappened dish, such as a Viva pad. Once dispensed, make sure to replace the cap immediately. Dip the provided Sentium Primer single-use applicator into the liquid and stir for 5 seconds. Ensure that the flock brush, which is coated with the catalyst, is fully covered with the primer, as you can see here with the uniform yellow colour. The primer is activated upon contact with the catalyst on the brush and the Sentium Primer liquid. Therefore, the primer must be used within 120 seconds of mixing. Start applying the primer from the enamel and work towards the rest of the cavity. This allows for a longer etching treatment time for the enamel. It is important to actively scrub and agitate the primer for a minimum of 10 seconds. Disperse the liquid with the water and oil-free compressed air until a glossy, thin, immobile layer remains. The primer will begin to self-etch, self-adhere and self-cure. To ensure appropriate mixing of the Sentium Forte liquid and powder, the light blue plunger needs to be fully pressed in. To successfully do this, push down on the plunger and apply firm pressure on a flat surface as shown here. You should hear an audible clicking sound. And an important advice, do not use a capsule applicator to activate the capsule. Mixing of the liquid and powder requires a capsule mixer such as the Silamat S6. On average, the mixing time required is 15 seconds. Once you have inserted the capsule, make sure you close the lid before beginning the mixing process. Please note, if the room temperature is below 22 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit, then more time is required to mix, so extend the time to 17 seconds. If the room temperature is above 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit, less time is required. Set the time to 13 seconds. Once the material is mixed, immediately insert the capsule into the applicator. Click down on the lever of the applicator several times until the material is visible at the transparent tip of the capsule. Fill the cavity to full volume and it would be advisable to overfill the Sentium Forte material as you would do with an amalgam or glass inamo based restoration prior to sculpting. When filling the cavity, it is vital to submerge the tip end of the capsule under the material surface to prevent any air bubble formation. Gently pack and condense with an instrument like a ball burnisher. Remove the excess with a flat plastic instrument or a spatula. You can adapt the material with an instrument of your choice. Here being used is a posterior composite cone-shaped burnishing instrument. A shepherd hook dental explorer is useful to recreate the fissures. Sentium Forte will self-cure. Nonetheless, you can optionally speed up the process by light curing it. This blue face G4 light cures the restoration for 15 seconds, as it has a light intensity of 1200 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Polishing is not necessary but a final finish can be done with a tungsten carbide or a fine diamond burr. And now that is the final finished appearance of the Sentium Forte restoration. And finally, when removing the Optrogate, be sure to use the tissue in front of the mouth to avoid the saliva splattering all over.